All right, what's going on everybody? Welcome back to another video and today we're going to be doing another breakdown of a Battlefield trailer and that's going to be the Battlefield 2042 official gameplay trailer. So last time we did the, I think it was just like the cinematic reveal. So we got a good idea of like the setting of the game and some of the things that would be in it, but we didn't see any gameplay, which to me is more important because that's going to give you a little bit more of a feel to let you see what the HUD's like and then just like any other you know, like primary, I don't know if primary features is the right word, but like any features that are just super apparent, you can get a good idea of them. So this is definitely what I was looking forward to a lot more so than cinematic trailers. So let's just get right into this. Actually, no, let me kind of explain something. If this is your first time like seeing one of these breakdowns from me, I'm I'm like a nobody. I don't I don't know any secret information. I'm not like Jack Frags or Level Cap or any of these people that have some like insider information. Um, and I'm not particularly good at breakdowns i'm just kind of watching this to get myself hyped up and uh just to see more about the game and get kind of a little discussion going because there's some things that like i want to know other people's opinions on um and i'll get more into that in a little bit but uh yeah and i also wanted to just get kind of like a little algorithm going for battlefield because i've been playing battlefield i think my my first battlefield was 1943 i think yeah, not 42. 42 is super old. I think 43 was the first one I ever played. And uh, when 2042 comes out, I definitely want to cover it. And I'm definitely going to be playing it a lot. So I kind of want to get a little bit of an algorithm going around on YouTube. That way, uh, when the time comes, I'm ready. But yeah, with all that out of the way, let's actually get into this. Hopefully, this isn't going to be too loud. So that's new, 128 players. I mean, it's not new since the last trailer, but since the last Battlefield. I shall get to that in a second. I'll let all these quick clips go by. And this isn't going to be like a... Like, Jack Frags did a frame-by-frame frame, um, video. And that's definitely... I'm definitely not going to do that. But this is actually... I never paused it on this screen. This is my first... I actually just noticed this. I forgot. In Jack Frags, like... He did a... And he had a... And he had, like... He went to a, a preview... Or what is... A press event, I think it's called for the game before like anybody else knew anything about the game and he talked about this but you can see there's three i think there's just three right here right there's three objectives a1 a2 a3 and in order to capture i would assume flag a yeah down here you can see flag a you have to capture i think you have to capture all three of these and not just the majority two out of three so that's the first time i actually noticed that which is kind of cool because that's good that's the new to battlefield I don't know what gun this is. Oh, it's 45 ACP. It's an SMG P, uh, PDW. So I, don't, I wonder if that's the actual name of the gun. Just some sort of SMG. Dude's rocking a hammer on it. I'll get to that. I'll, I'll just say something else about the flight, the flight box. So this is huge to me. Um, I, I'm a huge fan of attack helicopters in Battlefield and just aerial vehicles in general. So this is kind of neat to see the HUD. Um, looks pretty... Looks... Ooh, what's that? Is that like a... I don't know what that is. That's pre It's pretty nice looking though. It's pretty clean. This dude's an absolute unit using a bolt action with iron sights. So here's our first look at the grapple hook, which is pretty interesting. My friend actually pointed this out, but right, whoop, right there you can see... That's your cooldown for the grapple hook. You can also see it down here in the bottom right. This will, the bar will like load up from the bottom to the top. And then we have our guy doing a takedown right here. And this is actually something that caught my eye. Is that this, look at the flight ceiling. You can't really, you don't really get a good, a good idea of it, but it doesn't seem like it's super low. Which is exciting because something I hate in Battlefield is dogfights just turn into circle fights. And I hate that. You just spin in circles for like, if, if you're if you have two competent pilots you can be stuck doing circles for like over five minutes and that's just mm, that's just mind numbing i hate that more than anything so i feel like having a high flight ceiling might be able to change that um and i didn't actually notice this i remember i was calling this like an osprey and i mean i'm sure it's still it's reminiscent of an osprey but this is actually interesting you can see an osprey usually has propellers but this clearly doesn't it has Unless, like, they're just here and you can't see them because, you know, like, they're spinning so fast. But this looks like it's just got two jet engines, which is interesting because I don't think this actually exists in real life. I don't think there's, like, an Osprey-type vehicle that has jet engines instead of uh, propellers. I could be wrong about that, 
but I'm pretty sure this is also a first for a battlefield, a transport uh, jet. Because technically, I think this is, I don't know if it'd be classified as a jet, but this is the first time you've, we've had transport helicopters, but if this is truly like a jet engine aircraft. This would be the first one. I think, I don't think I'm forgetting a jet aircraft transport that we've had. Oh, I never actually noticed this, that there's gunner seats in this. Oh, right there? Is that a barrel of a gun? You have top gunner, left gunner, right gunner. Pe what the F is a Burso? Huh. I don't really see any gunning position, especially on the top, but... It's, it's cool if this is really a transport. This is interesting. So they talked about we can call in vehicles. So here we have a tank coming in. This dude just hops in it. Again, they're fighting over. I want to get go back and look at that. They're fighting over C1. Can we see any other C objectives on the HUD? I don't think so. So they're fighting over objective C1. Huh. Can't really see... If there's a C2 or C3. Just explosions. Well, that's interesting. There's no... I wonder if that's just a... There's no um third-person reticle. I wonder if that's just, like, not in this version of the... Like, because this is pre-alpha footage. I wonder if, like, this version of the game just doesn't have it. Because you always have a reticle, right? I'm not... I'm pretty sure you always have had a reticle in third-person. Well, now I'm thinking about it, I like I don't feel too confident, but I'm almost positive you you have. We swap over to first person here. Now that uh, the travel time for the for this what what do you call it? the shell is pretty quick. I feel like it's faster and than the past battle feels like. Look how fast it gets to the helicopter. Like boom, it's like almost instant. Granted, the helicopter is close, but. These things look awesome. I think that's a minigun. This, I don't know what this is. Can I see the, v oh, LATV4. So I'm assuming it's like a, a BTR or an LAV. But I was wondering, cause this, I can't tell if this is a minigun. Actually not looking at it, it does look like a minigun. Cause if I go back to this, where you're, where you have this like kind of, this, this off-road vehicle, like these are miniguns, but these aren't, maybe this is what you're, no, it's not. There's no way. Cause these don't have like a HUD. This is just like a windshield vehicle. It's not like a tank or anything. But I'm pretty sure these are miniguns. But then this next vehicle, I can't tell if it's a can't. Yeah, see. Wait, no, it is. LATV4. Wait, what? Oh, that uh, That would be the gunner screen. Okay, so it is the minigun. Oh, yeah, it's the same shot. Okay, I'm stupid. Wait. No, that's not the same shot. Okay, so this is a driver and that's the gunner. Okay. We're putting it together, dude. We're putting the puzzle together. I mean, I'm sure everybody else got that instantly, but for some reason, I wasn't catching that. Yeah, you can see that. Okay, I'm being stupid. You can see the picture of it down there. So this is just a minigun screen. But the like, it's kind of sounded like it was a cannon, not a minigun. Right, right there. I guess it kind of sounds like a minigun. Here, here was our first shot of like an assault rifle, and it, it looks nice, like. It's not too big. It's in a nice spot on the screen. I don't know. I like the way it looks when he's moving. It doesn't look like... It doesn't look floppy. In Battlefield 1 and 5, that was something that was big. This is, that was something that kind of irked me. The gun, if you were to move your character left... Like, not move. If you were to look around to the left or right quickly, your gun kind of flopped around. And I don't like... Like, I like when the gun's kind of like... It's held tight. I didn't like the whole floppy aspect of it. So seeing this, like, the guy holding it pretty, like, tight and secure was, uh, that was a big thing for me. Now, this is easily the biggest thing for me in this trailer, and I'll be honest, when I saw it, when I heard about this for the first time, I was super disappointed and not, ex like, well, I don't know if disappointed is the right word. I wasn't excited at all for this. And I was kind of upset seeing it in the trailer. But the more I thought about this, I definitely felt like I was overreacting because I watched I watched all these trailers um live when they revealed. So I got to see everyone else's reaction in like the chat. And a lot of people, even like the uh the streamers or the the YouTubers that I watched that saw this feature, like everyone was excited for this. So I'm definitely in the minority. Now my friends kind of like have the same opinion as I do with this. 
Um, but we're definitely in the minority as far as this, uh, like our feelings for this. I, so I'm not, I wasn't excited at all the, when I, when I heard about this and when I saw this the first time, but the more I thought about it, the more I realized that this probably isn't that going to be like that important of a feature. It's going to be nice, but I don't think it's going to play a huge part into the game. I could be wrong, but, um, and if I give you like an example, the main thing that I was thinking was say you're a sniper, you have a bolt action rifle and you're just sniping it. You're like, so you're going into the fight at a disadvantage using a sniper. And some guy's got a assault rifle because I would say like 70% of the time, probably more than that, anybody running a, an assault rifle in Battlefield is using like a red dot sight. So you're at a long distance. This guy, he's got an assault rifle with a red dot sight. He he really, well, realistically, he shouldn't be able to kill you because you're, you know, you're using a sniper. You have a scope. You're a long ways away. This guy, that guy's at a disadvantage and you're at an advantage because you have a sniper. You're playing to your strength, yada, yada, yada. Now, like, this dude can swap, he can see you, like, if you start shooting at him, you don't kill him right away, he can swap to a, an ACOG or a scope, because I think, because in Battlefield, you can put scopes on ARs, at least in Battlefield, could you put scopes? I don't know if you could put, like, a rifle scope on an AR. I don't remember. But you definitely could put ACOGs, so it's gonna give him, a definitely, a, like, he, it's definitely gonna give him more of an advantage. Being able to swap to an ACOG, a, a heavy barrel, like a longer barrel, or a bi- he, I don't know if you'll be able to put bipods on ARs or a foregrip. It instantly increases his chances of being able to kill you, the sniper. Which just sucks as a sniper, because not only are you using a bolt action, putting yourself to a disadvantage, but then you're playing to your strengths over this long distance, but then this guy just swaps to a long range weapon. Now- like that was kind of my go-to example whenever I thought about like explaining it to somebody but like throughout the past couple of days I was kind of like you know that the the chances the, the, yeah the chance that that's gonna happen live is pretty small I would say and even then that guy still has to like he's got to be pretty good to be able to land the shots to kill the sniper so I really I think I'm over exaggerating the uh or I was the importance or the uh the impact this is gonna have, and now, like my opinion now is like I'm, I'm. Not, I wouldn't say I'm excited. I'm, ex I'm not. Yeah, I wouldn't say I'm excited for this, but I definitely don't mind as much as when I first heard about this. Um, plus, I could be missing out. I actually want. I was just thinking about this in the shower when I, I was thinking about because well, I knew I was gonna make this video. I actually wanted to keep an eye out and see. I believe this is a symbol that lets you know you can customize your weapon. So I wanted to see. I know these guys are about to get into a fight. I want to see if this symbol stays here because. You can see they're in an elevator, so there's clearly a downtime when they're fighting, and maybe that's the only time you can, um, you can, like, change your attachments. And also, I just noticed this dude's got a magnum with a scope on it. Like an absolute unit. Typical battlefield fashion, this dude's gonna drive the C4 quad. <laughs> Blow him up. No, I'm curious, what does that say on the, on the clicker, the C4 detonator? Oh, that's interesting. Max distance, 9 kilometer, kilometer. Oh my god, I can't say the word. Kilometers. Kilometers. Kilometers or kilometers? Or is it the same thing? I have no freaking idea. He's got two C4s. Spike 9, I wonder, I wonder if that's what they're called. That's interesting. I wonder if there's a max distance. Huh. Weird looking detonator, at least from what we're used to. Or when you think of a typical C4 detonator. So he's getting shot at so far. That's still there. I could. I thought at first I thought this was a, was a Pavlo, but once we get onto this the this other rooftop, I'm pretty sure it's a Hind, like the Russian Hind. Oh, it is gone. Oh, it is. Wait. Huh. Also, that's awesome to see they have a compass. So it goes from being this plus symbol to uh, bullets. So I don't know. This dude's changing his fire rate. Like, on the fly? His fingers aren't doing anything, so I don't think he is. But he's getting shot here. He's not actually taking damage. So we I don't know if this is, like, an out of combat thing. But when he shoots, it definitely goes away. Is it the second he shoots that it goes away? It is. Yes, yeah, so... And I don't think they're going to show us getting... I don't think they show anybody taking damage in this. This is a sick shot. 
first look at the wingsuit. That's interesting. So yeah, that even makes me feel better about the whole plus system. Yeah, they don't show. I don't think they don't. They don't show anybody taking damage. Now this is this is. I'm so interested in this. The uh, the store like the tornadoes, because you can see like they have an effect on what's going around. Like this dude. You know, like, something's happening to him, so I wonder if, like, he can ADS. I want, like, his HUD's tweaking out. Um, I want to know, like, it clearly has an effect on the players and vehicles. This is, it's pulling the helicopter in. The, that thing looks like it's going backwards. This little, like, what? I don't know what that thing is. It looks like it's being pulled backwards, just like in the trailer. Maybe it's just backing up. I don't know. But, I mean, it's definitely pulling. Oh, oh, there you go. Boom. So this thing definitely has Jesus. This thing definitely has guns. It's got too many guns. Three. Left gunner, right gunner, top gunner, which would be the front gun, I would assume. And then maybe that third C is that camera looking thing. Like, oh, there's a car. I know they mentioned that in the heat that like tornadoes can pick up crates and drop them. Okay, so that's cool. This thing definitely has guns, and that definitely looks like a jet engine, not a propeller. So yeah, that's cool that there's like a jet transport carrier. Huh. So that thing's pretty, like, loaded. So, like, it's... Pull, it's This thing, def the tornadoes definitely pull stuff, which is cool. And then apparently you can just... You can... Parachute in them and, like, be carried through it, which is awesome. Yeah, then boom, that's it. Oh, there you go. There's another... There's definitely... Yeah, I'm trying to see if this is like a DMR or a, uh, like an assault rifle, but there's a scope on it, so. Interesting. Yeah, I wish I would have saw somebody getting shot. I don't think you actually, I don't think anybody gets shot in this video. But yeah, it, it, there's, I'm, I love the way it looks, like the way the guns look, the way that, way that they look like they're going to handle. I'm definitely excited for that. And boom, they just ended off. We don't have anything else to look forward to. I don't think they don't say anything in the um in the rest of this trailer. What the F? Yeah, they do. Was this not on the live? This is my first time watching it on YouTube. But was this not on the live stream on the Xbox thing? I don't think it was. Bro, OK, <laughs> well, I don't know what this means. This could just be another trail. July. I would assume this is the beta though, right? Although if it was the beta, I feel like they would have said. Because. I mean, that's kind of important to know. But July 22nd, that like, if that's not the beta, then you have, you, they have to do it in either August or September. Unless they're doing it in early October, which I can't really imagine, but maybe they are. So the game comes out 22nd of October. Yeah, but that's it for that. But yeah, I don't know. I, I'm definitely excited for it. it. Definitely, it's definitely piquing my interest a lot more than Battlefield One and Five did. And I was still pretty excited for One and Five, but this is definitely, I'm definitely more excited for this. I'm definitely excited to go back to the modern setting. But yeah, all right, that's gonna be it for this video, guys. If you guys, let me know, yeah, if you made it this far, let me know about your comments about that plus system. I wanna, I know I'm in the minority, but I just wanna like, I don't know, I just wanna hear more about it, what other people think. Um, but yeah, that's gonna be it for me for this video guys. If you guys did enjoy the video Feel free to drop it a like if you didn't you can always dislike it subscribe if you want to see more content from me or just content in general um, Right now I'm posting a lot of arc stuff uh, But like I just mentioned I definitely plan on doing I Don't know. I'm gonna be playing an absolute crap ton of battlefield when it comes out. I always do and I and this will be actually my first time covering it because um, I'm definitely trying to grow the YouTube and take YouTube a little bit more seriously than I have in the past so I'm actually going to do like try and cover some, I don't even know, just cover the stuff in the game, the different things. So if you want to see more of that, you can always just subscribe and be able to like get notified and all that jazz. You know, you know I don't need to explain this to you guys. You guys know how YouTube works. Uh, but yeah, that's going to be it for me for this video, guys. I'll catch you in the next one. Take care.